Well, Ron Paul's statement is up at Infowars.com. He is not going to run for re-election to the House of Representatives from Texas. He is uh, not going to simultaneously run for the House while he runs for president so he can give his full focus, his last big push. And either way, win, lose, or draw, he educates people, he injects real issues, he shows both. The Democrats and Republicans are bought and paid for by the very same interest. That's why the, the Republican front runners are all trying to adopt Ron Paul-esque speech because they know uh, that the American people are constitutionalist, libertarian in their common sense mindset. That's why the former IRS tax collector, Michelle Bachman, uh, is now talking like Ron Paul. That's why the former male cheerleader and Al Gore campaign manager in Texas for president, um, Slick Rick Perry, is sounding like Ron Paul more and more every day. That's why the guy that wrote the model of Obamacare for Massachusetts that became the model of Obamacare and a guy who wants carbon taxes, Mitt Romney, is being hailed as John Wayne. Because these people are as phony as the $3 bill, so is Sarah Palin. I'm not even saying Michelle Bachman's a bad person. I'm not even saying that uh, Sarah Palin's a bad person. And obviously, uh, with their track records, they're better than Barack Obama. But it's time to end the lesser of two evils. Okay, it's time to not go with the sexy candidates, the, uh, you know, the uh, good-looking women, just because it's a fun novelty, uh, and it's, you know, the beauty queens and the tax assessors, it's time to go with the statesman Ron Paul and to fully get behind him and to get as much information out about the New World Order and CIA narcotics trafficking that Ron Paul talks about and uh, staged crises and all of it, and we will win, win, win in the info war, regardless of whether he wins or not, and it will position Rand Paul, who everybody says, oh, I wish he'd run, I wish he'd run, don't worry, in the future, uh, he'll be running. That's why they're now swinging their guns towards him. The Southern Poverty Law Center, very unsavory uh, anti-American group, uh, has now labeling him an extremist and going into full-time demonization of him. You saw all the dirty tricks by the Republicans in the primary and by Democrats in the general election for Senate pull out every stop. He worships Buddha. He's kidnapping women. Uh, he hates black people. Uh, they hired Democratic operatives on record three times that got caught to run around with racist signs saying they supported Rand Paul. I mean, they've been caught all over the country doing this. I mean, these people will do anything. And you know when they come after somebody that they're good. They're going after Michelle uh, Bachman right now, which shows they are scared of her because she's probably grown up a lot since being an IRS tax collector. And she's against the carbon tax, and she says she's against the globalist, and we have a choice, liberty or tyranny. And I'll tell you, when you, you know, the sniff test, watching her, looking at her, she believes what she's saying, and they're no doubt tapping her phones, tracking her. I mean, the media does that to, to, to uh, you know, major government personalities, not, not, not to mention intelligence agencies, as has come out with all the, uh, you know, Fox News England uh, news with them hacking and using criminals and things. This is par for the course. So I, I like Bachman more than the, more than um, more than Palin. But this isn't a beauty contest, and this is not a personality contest. This is about track record. Okay, Ron Paul was a patriot 40 years ago. He was a patriot 27 years ago in Congress and got run out of Congress as a libertarian. Uh, he came back at, using the Republican machine, uh, you know, the, the, the system, and won and has been a, a stalwart, a voice in the wilderness for decade upon decade upon decade. And uh, he's getting ready to hang up his spurs. He'll either win the presidency uh, and uh, face, as he said on this show, great personal danger, not just uh, political and, 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 and danger to his name, because they, they will make up anything about him, just get ready for that, but actually physical danger. Ron Paul announces he will not run for re-election in the House. Again, Infowars.com, Kurt and Mo, uh, if you want to get that information and get it out to people. Uh, now, obviously we've been covering court site. This is a big deal where the police chief and the city council, quote, fire the mayor because they got a few thousand emails and people saying, hey, you shouldn't arrest folks in citizen communications uh, who get up there and talk about new taxes being passed illegally. I mean, that's part of what America is. And all over the country, people have gotten to the point 
where they just drive by government buildings and, ooh, that's the government, and you call them sir and you bow to them. They're the new royalty. No, America is about the people at the city council meetings, the people knowing what's going on with the zoning boards. This is our country. And, and, and government, our servants, have gotten out of control. And all over the nation, they're coming in in Michigan and Oklahoma and saying, you can't grow vegetables without a license in your yard. So a lady's facing 90 days in jail, uh, even though the code says she can grow vegetables. And, and, and if the code said she couldn't, get rid of it. But the code doesn't even say it. That's NBC News admits that. They don't care. It's about their petty power trip. See, control freaks, folks that can't produce, tend to get into government positions because that's where they can have power. It's called parasitism, parasitic behavior. And, and, and when you have servants in government, you have a good society. When you get a bunch of control freaks in there, and when you get the attitude of, well, that's just what they do, and, and, and now all over the country, if you speak out against corruption, they go, oh, my gosh, Al-Qaeda, extremists, call the police, fire the mayor, declare emergency. Nobody can ever speak again at city council meetings. This is what the New World Order is. This is what the fake terror scare is. What did that police chief in court site do last year? They were getting up saying, you're passing taxes. Where are these hundreds of thousands of dollars going? Who gets these mystery paychecks? And they said, we're not going to tell you. You're like Jared Lee Loeffner. Uh, I guess it was earlier this year, shut up, uh, yeah, January. We're not going to discuss it. I mean, this is all on record. And see, it's become a real soap opera. People aren't watching Dancing with the Stars or football or basketball or baseball. People are doing what Americans always did before in other free societies. The real soap opera is reality. The real fight is knowing the personalities, being involved, not letting people run over you, walking tall. You've got to fight for freedom. And that doesn't mean killing some brown people overseas for their opium or their oil or for no-bid weapons contracts. That means here in America, if you just drive by the government buildings and decide that, well, that's their place and they're the boss, of course they're going to run wild. Of course they're going to engage in all sorts of corruption. That's the nature of it. So later... Uh, I want to get into uh, what, in fact, you heard the mayor mention his brother uh, exposing corruption and uh, how it ended up sending the sheriff to prison. Um, I mean, this is incredible. So, again, you've got it genetic. It's in the family with that mayor. His brother, right there in Arizona, kicked off an investigation in another county that sent somebody to jail, that sent a whole bunch of people to jail. Listen, if you just threw food all over the ground in your house for a few months, if you didn't have roaches, you're going to get them. If you didn't have rats, you're going to get them. Well, imagine, this is like a kitchen that's had the light off for 20 years with 100 pounds of food dumped in through the ceiling. That's our tax money. And you open up that room, it's nothing but millions of cockroaches and rats running around everywhere. You kick the door in almost anywhere, and you are going to see horrors going on behind the closed doors of national security and local government and all the rest of this. And uh, I go back to the Battle of Athens in 1946. The Battle of Athens, sometimes called the McMinn County War. And all these World War II vets got back from World War II and uh, a totally corrupt city council and sheriff's department uh, and police department had taken over and were robbing everybody and were openly mafia. And, and the World War II vets just uh, voted them out in an election. They wouldn't leave, just like what's happening in court site. And so the uh, troops just went in, just the citizens just like 1776 just went in. They had a big shootout with them. They finally waved the white flag, and uh, the state came in and found that it was just what the citizens had done. It was a citizen's rebellion against tyranny. And you're going to see this happen. That's why the state of Arizona just says, let that city do whatever they want. Because if you let one ant stand up, all the ants might stand up to the grasshoppers. Because this is going on everywhere. They're jacking up taxes everywhere. They're taking the money everywhere. They're telling you you can't see the records everywhere. They're engaged in all sorts of chicanery everywhere. I mean, our own city council has got their wives and kids hired, and, uh, you know, they got deals with developers. And it's just, it's, 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 we've just accepted that this is what they do, that they lie, steal, cheat, that that's what government does. They've just accepted it. They've, they, they think they've steamrollered us to where we'll go along with anything.
Uh, here's a modern example in Tennessee. Great folks there with the history of standing up. Uh, this is uh, going on in uh, the town of Laverne, and uh, it's uh, in the uh, larger county. Tennessee citizens try to abolish their city government. Citizens in the local town in Tennessee trying to abolish their city government. This is one of the most encouraging stories of free individuals pushing back against tyrannical encroachment since the McMinn County War of 1946. Government in La V-E-R-G-N-E, -E, I guess that's La Verge, Tennessee, recently raised property taxes on their citizens by 100% as the economy implodes. That's surfed them, folks. Raising their water utility rate by 40 and also raise their sewage rate by 60. It, it, is it any wonder that the residents want to do away with them? Here's the full story of the people's recent struggle against oppressive taxation that is taking place right next door to you. And it, and it goes on. I mean, this is what's happening, ladies and gentlemen. This is what's going on all over the country. Uh, Okaloosa County Sheriff arrested on federal charges uh, in Arizona. All of this uh, triggered uh, by the mayor's brother down there fighting. The, the mayor. Oh, oh, this is in Florida. Okay, okay so I have another one here uh, out of Arizona. There's just too many of these for me to keep track of. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Rob Dew's running these articles uh, uh, into me one after the other. Ask yourselves, what are you doing in this time of great challenge? What are you doing to unlock minds?